What is happening everyone? Hope everybody's doing well wherever you're watching this. Hope you're having a good time. And today's video is going to be a little different. Not from the usual drum covers you're used to, but today I'm going to be giving a rundown of what I play. So I know there might be some of you that have been waiting for this video and I know it's been a long time coming, but I finally have time to make it. So. I'll start from the top and start with the hardware. Um, hardware wise, you know the drill, PDP, and some of it's Yamaha, like this one right here. And some are just cheap stands I bought at Yamaha, like this one, this is a, just a, I don't remember how much this was, but if you paid attention to my older videos, these used to be where my splashes would go, but now, now that I have grown, as you can see, I now have two bass drums and more four toms and more cymbals too. So now my splashes just sit on these stands and great way to use this um, fucking tom mount. Just use it for the for a little cymbal holder so splash can go here. All right, so you know the drill SPL because um, you know I was this is like fucking broke boy Asian kid so. So you know, cheap hi hat stand, SPL, you know the drill, thick firth stick holder, and I'll show you guys the sticks I play. I play on Promark's 5A, and main reason why I'm Promark is because of Mike Portnoy, one of my biggest inspirations to my drumming. So, all right, before we move on to the cymbals, here's my Maybex, I believe this is the 500. Only paid about $160 for this at Guitar Center. It was actually on one of their E kits, uh, which would be set up in the front. And this was the double bass that I was on. And luckily it was on sale. And you know, so I just snagged it from them. I got a killer deal on it. And you know the drill, um, the beaters. This did come with metal beaters originally, but you know how I play super fast. So I got the innovative percussion, Brooks Wackerman signature. Wooden beaters, just for that. Yeah, why, why am I playing that so bad? But let me show you my my little fucking drum exercises that I like to do to warm up my double kick. That warm up is from the great Dean Casanova from Journey. All right, now moving on to symbols. Um, we know the drill. I'm all Sabian because of Mike Portnoy, knowing. And him, one of my biggest inspirations. And before you guys ask, this is, I'm gonna take the top off right here. Um, this is a B8 top, uh, it's a hi-hat top. And under it is actually an old ozone crash. Pretty sure some of you remember this from my older drum covers. Not gonna lie, it sounds pretty killer, especially for those, for those fucking thrashy bits. Screw this back on, I'm gonna give you guys a demonstration. And here goes nothing. So this, this basically is rarely used, but but let me start from the left here. I'll wear my hi-hats. We have 14 inch SBRs. We got eight inch AX. And then right above it is an 18 inch SBR crash. And now moving on another SBR. This time it's a 10 inch splash. And now here's a, an AA, a 16 inch rock crash. And now onto my other stack. This is heavily inspired by the Max stacks from Mike Porter. I actually can show you guys right now. I actually have one of the symbols just hanging on my wall right now next to all the unused heads. Beautiful symbol. Okay, so now moving on. I mean, back to the stack. This is, I know it's, it's, all, it's all cracked, all, all bad, man. So this is a AA. 8 inch mini holy channel and then under it is happens to be also cracked too those are already a little small folk but there's a tiny little hair crack right there it's a 8 inch ax blast just like my left and right here 
I mean, they they sound all similar except this one's older because it has the old logo. And this one sounds newer because, you know, of course it's it's manufactured newer, so. So mainly when I cover Dance of Eternity by Dream Theater, this is one of the main symbols I use alongside this one right here. I mean, mainly for that. I mean, before the... Max Stacks. And as you guys could plainly see, this was inspired by the low Max Stacks. So hopefully I can snag a pair, save up some money, and yeah, moving on. Um this is an 18-inch AX stage crash. Got it for cheap off reverb. I bought it at the same time as this one. So I mean yeah, these are normally fucking three hundred dollars new, but on reverb, you know how it has some killer second end deals, so only got it for half the price. And the next symbol is a seven inch aluminum bell. I mean, that's what it says, but but it's, you know, obviously it's made of aluminum, but the fucking sustain in this is crazy. And you know the drill, being a big Mike Portnoy fan and just a big metal fan in general, of course, I gotta have that second eye, second eye hat. Uh, this is a 14-inch B8 hi hat. So this one's a little brighter. Yeah, that does sound a little bright, but this one, this one does not sound as bright as the B8. So that's why. I'm, if you paid attention to my older videos, this used to be my main hi hat. It used to be on this one, but I bought. I bought this one off Amazon, just my main high so. And it sounds great too. And now onto the ride, we have a, it's a B8, 20 inch, the 20 inch I believe. And now for the ch China, we got a Chad Smith signature, as you can see. So this is a 17 inch Holy China, I believe. Let's see if I can just skip the back. Yeah, there it is. Yep, AX, 17 inch Holy China, that's right. Sounds great too. I mean, if you hit it soft enough, sounds a little like a gun. So you guys pay attention in losing time at Dream Theater. Notice how Portnoy ends that, ends that song with a gun. So like I was just doing these little fills in the toms and then just beautiful. So, so as I'm filming this, I actually watched them live last night in Inglewood at the YouTube theater and losing time was actually one of their songs and Mangini killed it like usual. Before I go headwise, you know, Ramo. Always Ramo, so. Some people out there are going, hey, hey, you, go, you ever gonna switch to Evans? Like, bro, I'm staying with Ramo. That's the brand I feel most at home with, so. So about brands, it's not about the reliability, it's also what you feel most at home with. And if you're on an endorsement, and you have a really good relationship with them. Yeah, that counts as well. So now moving on from heads. Mm -hmm. Course PDP. This is an 8x7, I believe, uh, X7. And right here is a 22 by 14, I think, uh, PDP concept, double bass. And then my snare is a PDP Spectrum, 14 by five and a half, and now we got a 10 by, I believe it's a 10 by eight. If I'm wrong, I'll just, I'll just put it somewhere around here. And this is a 12 by eight, I believe. And this is a 16 by 14 um, PDP Encore. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention that, yeah. And so this, this whole, these shells right here are actually PDP Encores, which I actually paid for $240 off offer up, so. Over here is a 16 by 16, I believe, PDP concept. Floor time. Rings warp, so. It sounds like shit right now, too, so I, I kind of have to get a new one. Uh, they actually sound not bad. Just need, to, just need to tune them a little bit, and then they'll 
they'll be sounding good in no time, so. So yeah, you know the drill, Sabian cymbals, Promark sticks, PDP drums, and can't forget this little guy right here. So that's a Latin percussion cowbell. I can't really see the brand, but it's Latin percussion. It's pretty much it for my kit tour. Next few purchases, I'm like, of course, I'm looking for God, just listen to how bright that sounds. So, you know, looking to buy a new ride pretty soon. And if I have that baller money, I'll finally get some Octobons right here or Rototoms, whatever I feel like. Give me the full Mike Portnoy experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this little kit tour for me. I know it's your first time hear me talk, I know, so. Oh yeah, the main reason why I bought this bud because Stop believing too. Don't don't forget that because you know how Steve Smith's on the bell goes ride, but Dean Castronovo, when they're playing live, he actually uses this. I mean, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the kit tour. Nothing much left to say except the yeah, microphones. Um, this is an SM57. It's a Pile CDM58. PDMI C70. Yeah, it's on the box over there. CDMI 78s, these are some Neewers. If you guys ever heard of Neewer before, it's N7. This is another pile CDM PDMI season C78. Onto the floor tom mics. These are also NW7s, just, just not the, not this type, not the condenser type. Well, of course, they still do need phantom power. Another phone to work, you know. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of this new setup. Um, I've had this setup for about a month now. I mean, ever since I bought this Encore, actually. So I was just looking for, like, just looking to buy, um, just, you know, some more shells in general just to expand my kit a little bit. And I got pretty tired of just having my bass drum pedal in the center. So just wanted that full double bass so I can actually feel like I'm playing on one. Except no beater right here, just like most drummers do. The Rev, Dean Castronovo, I mean, you name it, man, so. I mean, yeah, it's pretty much gonna cover everything in this video, so. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more shit on the way. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.